I hope we're ready to record be putting this in it. <laughs> you haven't started it yet. <laughs> okay. Um, you started it? Yeah, but, but I, we can start. This out. Yeah. It's, gonna, it's boring. It's really boring stuff <laughs> so far. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, I'm here with Creed. Uh, Creed Bratton, whose Creed. name? I, I don't want to forget me. your name, but I'm me. Me there. Okay. Um, from The Office and other things. Uh, I, I Your character is... You're like the Kaseke's guy of, of the acting world, you know. He's like he's so interesting. He 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 swims at the North Pole, you know, the Kaseke's commercial. The oh guy. yeah, yeah, yeah. And the most interesting man in the world. Yeah, I'm kind of like I think I'm kind of offended that they think he is. I kind of <laughs> think that I am actually. You, know? you are. You are. Yeah. I mean, you nobody knows where he came from. You sort of like just re you're generated on the show like artificial intelligence. You're just yeah, there, you know. Kind of like that could have, could have <laughs> alien parents, you know. That you. Because it's based so much on your real character and you being a quirky version started, of yourself. It started out that way. Yeah, 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 it became far beyond that after toward the end of the show. How much input did you have in creating this character and, and contrib like collaborating with the writers? Was it all I them or was wrote, it half half? I wrote a, a, a character based on what well, I'm a rock star in the grassroots. So I, if, if I had stayed or got into really heavy drugs and had uh, f passed out on a Greyhound bus, mm -hmm. ended up in a dumpster in Scranton, and they found me and put me to jo work at a. That was the premise, yeah. and I and I had was I was psychic and uh, but but all the other stuff, killing people and stealing. That was stuff they added later. Okay. It was based loosely on what would happen if I would continue my debauched ways, <laughs> but uh, obviously I am not. I'm an actor, and I I'm not that character. But because I'd be in jail if I was that character. Yeah. July fourth, gang, uh, Hulu Hulu TV, yes. a show called Into the Dark. Culture shock. I'm playing a character unlike anything I've ever done. A real bad guy. A real bad guy. So be, be prepared for that. I was literally, that was my, that was going to be my final question. Yep. Well, but I just, I jumped but we, <laughs> we jumped ahead to the end. Well, now we're done. <laughs> Thank you, much. Good night. Later, skater. Maybe uh, I I don't know I I don't know as much I don't know as much about your music as it because I got I int I was introduced to you through the office. Uh -huh. um, I, I wish I could learn more about your music. Like yeah. at what point did you like at what point did you diverge or did you realize there was a point in your life where suddenly it was like an aha moment where like you were doing music and then suddenly uh, something opened up. Do you remember no, that? What that was? It was never, was, it was never that them? moment. I had uh, played guitar starting at 13, 17. I was a professional musician. Uh, as soon as I was in high school, at, uh, I was doing plays. I was a drama major in college. So they're always simultaneously through my life, I have been acting and playing music at the same time. Oh, okay. Always. Never, never was a mo moment that it's always been that way. Bi a bilingual kind of like, you know. Well, the bilingual, no, by just by jobby. By jobby. By jobby. By jobby. Jabby. I was saying to Oscar and the, the, the loss. Yeah. Oh, it's a beautiful interview. It was actually the, it, the award winning, award winning Pulitzer Prize. Um, uh, that you, you guys on stage are magic. You were just magic. And your questions were the funniest. I mean, I'm not trying to insult anybody else, but uh, your response, especially the one that got me laughing at the very back of the room, you probably heard me like a flying, was uh, what, what's your, what did you take from the office set? You know, like computers. <laughs> a couple of Panasonic cameras. <laughs> yes. uh, 20 grand. I flipped yeah. them for about two. What can you get in the streets, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Oh my God! I would steal on the show just to keep it. They they knew that I was going to steal somebody's wallet, something one. But I'd give it back because I I want. I was I'm a method guy, so I would go around stealing things, stealing things, and they 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 allowed me to do it because yeah. they said, well, he's working on the character. It's char character development. Char character yeah. development. Yeah, exactly. Oh my house! The mortgage is not my name anymore. <laughs> character development. He's a Daniel Day Lewis, like you said in the stage of <laughs> Daniel Day Lewis of comedy. Exactly. Uh, but besides uh, Into the Dark, which you already touched on. Are there any anything else on the horizon that you, that you can or would uh, like to mention? I shot a thing called Upload for our old showrunner Greg Daniels up in Vancouver, yeah. and that's coming out on I believe Amazon. Okay. Um, the Hulu show comes out July fourth. I don't know when the Amazon show comes out. Um, and my album uh, While the Young Punks Dance is out now on Spotify and iTunes and Amazon. And I've got it. My working on my ninth studio album. I've got two more songs to go. I don't know when that's coming out, but I'm, but I'm working on that now. Yep. Is it on? Is it on? <laughs> it's still on.